Welcome to Charity Village Connects. I'm your host, Mary Barrel. That's the sound of a hummingbird pollinating our world and making it a better place. The hummingbird is Charity Village's logo because we strive, like the industrious hummingbird, to make connections across the nonprofit sector and help make positive change. Over this series of podcasts, we'll explore topics that are vital to the nonprofit sector in Canada. In this episode, we'll investigate whether the nonprofit sector is prepared to navigate the impending succession crisis it's bound to face in the next decade. The succession crisis is nothing new. Five years ago, the Senate report, Catalyst for Change, a Roadmap to a Stronger Charitable Sector, included recommendations which called on the federal government to work with the nonprofit and charitable sector to, quote, develop and implement a human resources renewal plan to ensure the long-term sustainability of the sector workforce, including initiatives for succession planning and efforts to attract new and diverse talent to the sector. End quote. Co-author of the report, Senator Ratna Omadvar, explains. In the sector, we have a huge succession problem. People are leaving. The leadership of the sector is a certain age demographic. And the new young people that we need to embrace the sector with a passion are not attracted by the wages that the sector pays. So there's an inherent disconnect between supply and demand. As a critical mass of baby boomer leaders take their retirement over the next decade, their nonprofit organizations haven't made plans to ensure that a new generation of leaders is adequately prepared to take their place. Nick Chambers is a partner in Boyden Social Impact Practice, and he recruits executives and board directors for a wide array of mission-driven and public-serving organizations. Often a board, particularly when it's worked out really well with that founding CEO, they're terrified at the notion of having to replicate that person. And on one level, they realize that no two leaders are exactly alike, but they fear their dependence on the ways in which the organization has been built around that founder and what it would mean to have someone else at the helm. All too often lacking the time and resources to successfully plan ahead, many of these organizations are also unsure how to attract new, younger people to the sector. Dave Hutchinson, president and leadership talent partner for Cause Leadership, an executive search firm serving the nonprofit sector, explains. Part of it is definitely a resource issue. I think it's a talent attraction issue as well. I mean, the two biggest issues facing charity today are talent and money. If you don't have enough talent and you don't have enough money, then your sector is going to be challenged by those two significant factors. So it comes down to talent attraction as well. But what is attractive about our space that would cause people to come and work here? Fora Network for Change is an organization that prepares the next generation of leaders to amplify their voices in decision-making spaces. Their Rise on Boards program helps young women and gender-marginalized youth across Canada to receive leadership and governance training and to be placed on a nonprofit board for a year. Here's what Fora's director, advocacy and programs, Jen Vachon, has been hearing from her program participants. On the one hand, some young people are really encouraged to to come into this sector because of the types of work that they can do. But I've also heard from some young people that they are a little bit discouraged by the sector because of just the rates of burnout. So how can boards of directors plan more effectively for an executive leadership transition at their organization? We'll explore some of the reasons we find ourselves in this critical situation, as well as strategies for managing this potential crisis and ensuring that nonprofits can create a sustainable future. To learn more about the services provided by Charity Village, listen to Charity Village Connects wherever you find your favorite podcasts and visit charityvillage.com.